Queen hands over key job to Meghan Markle as Prince Harry's wife Wow's royal family. Meghan Markle has proved her worth with the Queen with the Duchess of Sussex taking on the role of honoring youngsters from the Commonwealth as their relationship continues to blossom. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will welcome those in the Queen's Young Leaders program to Buckingham Palace this summer continuing the role started by the Queen during her lifetime of service to the Commonwealth nations. Prince Harry became the patron of the program in 2018, which sees exceptional young people receive honours for the work they do in their respective Commonwealth nations. Meghan, whose relationship with the Queen is going from strength to strength, will take over the role from the Queen, which is said to be a job that has been close to her heart since it started five years ago. Meghan will attend the reception for the first time, as the newlywed couple prepare to continue the work of the monarch. The program, which started in 2013, honors those who have made changes to their communities, including mental health advocacy, tackling violence against women and saving lives. The Duke of Sussex said he was hugely optimistic about the program's future and for the couple to set an example for future Commonwealth generations to come. He said, I have really enjoyed meeting so many of them over the past four years and their passion and understanding always leaves me hugely optimistic about the future. I have seen time and time again that today's generation understands something very important, that to tackle a big issue, you need to focus on the root causes of the challenge and not its symptoms. The Queen's young leaders are having an incredible impact in their respective countries because they have adopted this mindset. It's the latest honor to fall upon M's Markle showing she has gained the trust of the Queen since she married Prince Harry in Windsor on May 19. Her Majesty and the Duchess were spotted giggling together as Meghan accompanied the monarch on her first engagement, the opening of a bridge in Cheshire. She travelled with Queen Elizabeth II, 92, to Cheshire on the royal train sleepover, the monarch's private train. The Duchess of Sussex then attended Royal Ascot together together on the Queen's first day of her favourite event of the year. It was also revealed that, much like Princess Diana, will she be calling the Queen by a very sweet nickname. Ingrid Seward, the editor of Majesty magazine, told Grazia that Meghan may be permitted to call the Queen Mama. This is an epithet used by those close to the Queen, according to the royal expert. Meghan is required to undertake six months of royal training by a senior palace staffer which was described as grueling and tough. But it seems the training is paying off, as her bond with Elizabeth II grows ever stronger. Royal expert Judy James told the express body language signals given off by the Duchess show she is passing tests with flying colors as she is transformed from L.A. actress to British Duchess. She said, her trip with the Queen seems to have modified her handshaking techniques with the increased distance plus the softer looking grasp being very much a signature ritual of the Queen.